cloth diapering has never been easier or more affordable. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a pre-fold diaper from a 49 cent IKEA kitchen towel. Use your seam ripper to remove the hems from the towel. Take care not to cut the towel. This is a good project to do while watching your favorite TV show. You'll be done before you know it. With all four seams removed, press the towel flat. Purchased flannel, receiving blankets, and old t-shirts can also be used to make pre-fold diapers. Measure the short side of the towel. After pre-shrinking, my towel measures 18 inches. Cut the soaker material one inch shorter than the measurement you got from the kitchen towel. The width of the completed soaker panel should be four inches. For more absorbency, double the measurement or cut two separate pieces. My final cut measures 17 by 8 inches. Fold or stack the soaker material in preparation for the next step. With your towel laid flat, place the soaker panel on top, centered along the short edge. Make sure to place the panel on the wrong side of the towel. The right side is the side you want showing on the completed project. The wrong side is the side you want hidden on the inside. Pin the soaker panel in place. We will be sewing along the folded edge. Let's get sewing. Place the folded edge of the soaker panel under your presser foot. Align the foot or edge of the soaker material along the left side of the foot. Use a basting stitch, the longest stitch on your machine's stitch length dial. Sew approximately 3 eighths to half an inch from the edge of the soaker panel. I used a contrasting thread color to make it easier to see and remove the thread later. Removing the thread after the project is completed is for aesthetic purposes and completely optional. Lay your project right side up on your work surface. Fold the towel in half and match the short edges. Reposition your pins to secure all layers of material. Add a few more pins for support. Position the project under your presser foot. Use a regular stitch length, half an inch from the fabric edge, to sew through all layers of material. you have all four edges sewn together, we're going to slide our hands over to the other side where the fold is. Take a pin and use a pin as your little guide. Right in there. Now you're going to open the diaper up a little and slide the pin over until your pin lines up with your basting stitch. Reposition the pin to close up all the fabrics. And add another pin on the other side of your microfiber terry. Now you're ready to sew that edge. Do the same thing for the other side. You should back tack all seams, except for the basting seam. This adds strength and durability to the completed project, something you definitely want in a diaper. Use your fingers to hold down the seam allowance of the soaker panel. You want this to lay flat under the presser foot. same thing for the other side. Sew up to your pin, back tack, and cut your threads. Reposition your presser foot near the second pin, back tack, and continue sewing to the edge. Don't forget to back tack at the end. We're going to use the hole to turn and flip the diaper right side out. Stick your hand all the way to the bottom and turn and flip. Use your fingers to make the corners nice and sharp. Do this for all four corners. Thank you. 
Press the diaper. Make sure the edges of the hole line up evenly. We're almost done! Back tack and top stitch a quarter to three eighths of an inch from the edge of the diaper. To make sure your opening does not unravel, sew an extra seam an eighth of an inch from the diaper's edge. Remember to back tack. Trim your threads. Remember your trusty basting stitch? Use it as your guide. Sew an eighth of an inch to the left of your baste, towards the center of the diaper. Do the same for the other side. Use the seam as your guide, but this time sew an eighth of an inch towards the edge of the diaper, through all thicknesses. Now you're done! Secure with a snappy and admire your work. Good job, Green Mummy!